Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of January 13th through the 19th. For this week, I decided to pull in the Annie kit from Two Little Bees. I think this might actually be the first time I'm using a Two Little Bees kit, or maybe the second. I know I haven't used very many of her kits before, but I just thought that this one was absolutely gorgeous for the winter. I did pick this up last year, so this is her mini kit format from last year, I believe. And yeah, for this week I decided to start with the bottom washi. I decided that I was not going to use bougie boxes this week or any sort of full box overlays. So I had a lot more freedom to put things where I wanted to put them and not have to worry about leaving some extra space for any extra boxes or anything like that. And then because this kit did not come with date covers, I pulled some in from ColourPop Paper. The January script in the top corner is also from Rose Colored Days. And then I pulled in some silver foil date dots from Sadie Stickers. I struggled a little bit with this week with all of the whiting out that needed to be done. And I really struggle with these top headers because the boxes are actually rounded. The rounded corners in this planner just drive me absolutely insane, and of course I started recording again when a truck went by, so I'm sorry if you heard that in the background. I know this mic tends to pick up quite a bit of background noise, so I'm sorry about that. So I did decide to pull in two of the headers that came with the kit, the Today headers and the Bow headers, and then the glitter headers are actual real glitter vinyl from Blanket Planner. I think that's actually the first time I've used Blanket Planner glitter headers in my planner. I know I've used some from Colourpop paper before, but yeah. And again, I'm really struggling with those headers, trying to get them lined up the way that they should be, which <sighs> Aaron Condren really needs to bring back just all of the square corners and everything. Like I really, I really hope that for the 2021 planner that gets fixed because this makes me tremendously sad because I'm actually considering switching out of an Erin Condren for next year, depending on how she actually goes to design it. But I'm a little bit over all the whiteout that I have to add in this planner to make it work for me. So then I went into my sidebar and I used my two typical habit trackers. The silver foiled scripts are from Sticky Sloth Designs. Those are customs. And I do believe she has those in her shop regularly. So I would definitely check there. Then I used a piece of washi with a This Week script from Scribble Prints Co. I think I ended up getting that in like a rack bag or something like that. I know I didn't order it myself, but it came with a whole sheet of scripts and things like that. Then I used the Winkly box along with a piece of washi, which I then had to cut down. I'm not really sure why the kit is formatted this way, but the extra couple pieces of washi in the two little bees kits, I believe this is across the board with all of her kits, are a little bit wider than like a full box size. Anyway, then I finished off my sidebar with a last full box. And now my heater kicked on. Wow, I have great timing today. I'm really sorry about that if you can hear it. Anyway, then I went back up to the top to put in the deco. I thought it was super cute and I trimmed it off off camera. And then I put down the Hello Weekend banner and started into my day by day. So the first thing on Monday that I marked was that I had a migraine. I used this migraine emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the script is from Kinsey's Creations. Then I used a flag that came with the kit and a work script from Nicole Alexia Designs in her silver foil. I'm pretty sure this was a $2 Tuesday at some point. So I just decided to pull those in for this week. Then I had a YouTube binge and the YouTube emoji is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the YouTube binge script is from C. Amy Draw. While I was doing my YouTube binge, I was snuggling my kitten. The Snuggle Kyo script is from Kinsey's Creations and the cat sticker is from Silver Oak Design. And then I finished off my evening by playing some Pokemon Sword and the Switch sticker is from Fox and Pip. On Tuesday, the first thing that I marked was work with another flag from the kit and another script from Nicole Alexia Designs. Then I had sushi for lunch and the sushi emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. The cafeteria in my building has guest chefs come in sometimes. I think it's like a couple times a month and this week it was sushi. I was really pumped about that. 
Then I wasn't feeling so well that day and I used a feeling ill script from Kinsey's Creations and a sick girl from Odd Loop to mark that. When I got home because I wasn't feeling well, I decided to take a nap and the berry sticker is from Grin and Bear It. And then after I got up from my nap, I played some more Pokemon Sword and the Switch sticker is from Once More With Love. On Wednesday, it was payday, so I used a flag from the kit along with a payday script from Scribble Prince Co. Then I marked work again with another flag from the kit and a work script from Nicole Alexia Designs. And most of this week is actually post-planned. I only actually planned Monday and Tuesday on the days that they happened, and the rest of this week was post-planned because it was absolutely insane at work. And the busy Coffee Monsters Co. Well, the busy emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. For the second half of Wednesday, I did some laundry. I used a Boo Laundry Girl sticker from Fox and Pip and a laundry script from Kinsey's Creations, and then I needed to do some packing. The packing munchkin is from Once More With Love. And then to fill up a little bit of that extra space, I used some Simply Gilded Washi because I didn't really have anything else to mark. On Thursday, the first thing that I marked was work, and this was sort of the beginning of the craziness. I marked it the same way I had before. Then I put down a Caress Press Flight Tracker. That's a super old sticker. The plane sticker is silver foiled from Scribble Prince Co. I used that to mark that I drove to the airport. And then the candy sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that while I was at the airport waiting for my flight to leave, I found a candy store, which was awesome. After my flight landed, I had to pick up my rental car. I used this car emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I needed to check into my hotel. The at symbol is from Scribble Prince Co. Sorry, I'm doing this a little bit out of order. And then I needed to work on some emails for work. The envelope sticker is from Scribble Prince Co. And the email script is from Once More With Love. Then I finished off my evening by playing some more Pokemon Sword and I used another Switch sticker from Once More With Love. On Friday, I had to work off-site, and yeah, I marked that the same way that I had for the rest of the week. Then I needed to check out of my hotel and fill my rental car up with gas because they charge you ridiculous amounts of money if you don't do that. The get gas sticker is from Kinsey's Creations, and then I had to return my rental car, and again, the car sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. After that, I needed to try to catch my flight, which actually ended up getting delayed by three hours, so I spent quite a bit of that time playing some more Pokemon Sword in the airport, which was super tiny and super crowded because so many flights had gotten delayed or canceled. Then I used another Caress Press flight tracker to mark in my flight, and then I had to deliver some parts to my work. I do work in engineering, so I was on a business trip to a supplier. Anyway, then on Saturday, I snuggled my Maisie Girl first thing. The Shih Tzu sticker is from Planning Made Easy, as is the brown dog sticker for snuggling maple. And we also got a ton of snow that day. That snow emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I used a Lazy Day sticker from Little Miss Papery and a Polar Bear onesie from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark a lazy day. On Sunday morning, the first thing that I wanted to mark was filming. I used a film, well, a camera sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a script sticker from Kinsey's Creations. Actually, all of the scripts on Sunday are from Kinsey's Creations. Then I made a Starbucks run and did some shopping with my husband. The coffee sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. and the couple sticker is from Fox and Pip. Then we had a birthday dinner for my dad and my aunt that day. I used a balloon sticker from Fox and Pip, which I tried to sort of rearrange, but I couldn't get it to come off of the half box, so I just left it. And then I watched some You on Netflix. The emoji on the laptop and the TV sticker are both from the Coffee Monsters Co. I'm not really sure how I feel about You. I finished the first season and I don't know, I, I don't think it's necessarily for me, but yeah, I know a lot of people are really enjoying it right now. So here is the finished spread and a little viv wiggle to show off the silver foil for this week. There wasn't a ton of it, but enough to make it sparkly. Here's everything that I have left in the kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!